Okay, what we're getting ready to do today is we're going to start doing the wood part of the basement. Now, you might notice here I've already started on it. I've got the sill plate put on all the way around except for over this doorway. And the way I'm doing it, if I had a lick of sense, I would have done that too. I would have put that sill plate right across the doorway. But I'm going to repair that anyway. You can see what we got here to, to hook it to, a 2 by 8 But you notice how high that concrete comes off of this side. Now, wait a minute. The original foundation concrete, and now you look at it on this side. You might notice there's a difference. And there is. Two inches of difference from one end to the other. This is level all the way around. So that's one of the pro problems we've got to deal with. So what we've decided to do is here in the middle, you can see there's the window in the guest bedroom that we're turning into a master bathroom. Right about here is where the doorway is going to come out. So this is what we're shooting off of. That's what he shot off of to, to pour this. So this is going to be our center right about where that line's at right there actually is going to be where we're coming off of for our level all the way around. And you'll get to see how I do it. Um, I originally envisioned it as 2x10s and then I got and did some research and found out 2x8s would work real well. And I thought, well, since it's a shallow basement, we did that on purpose because we knew we'd hit some big rocks in there. And jackhammer and rocks, the price goes up fast. So, figured lumber is cheaper. Anyway, actually saving money on 2x8s instead of 2x10s, but on this outside wall, we have to jack it up 2 inches so that it will meet the height of the 2x10 box on the sides. Because when we originally designed this and poured this, I was going to use 2x10s, and I changed my mind. You decided to use 2x8s. And one thing that, works, that that does that was an unintended side benefit is that it raises up the headroom two inches and I need all the headroom I can get. This basement is not quite six feet and I am. So there you go. Maybe I should have spent the extra couple thousand dollars digging it down another foot but it just didn't seem worth it to me. It's not really a hang out in remodel basement and make it into something nice. It's just a place to go inside of in case of a tornado storage place and put a wood burner over here as you can see where that hole's at so anyway let's get to it we'll do a little time lapse here you can watch me work today Okay, as you can see, got the box all done, all the way around, got it attached together, got it attached to the house on the ends, attached at the corners, on the outside, see where I put it together with something to hold it together until I get it done, and of course I tack the top together to keep it straight. And yes, I did hit my head on that already. It hurt. Anyway, next thing to do is square it up. And that's kind of a two-man operation. I know there's another way of doing it. I'm going to go in and look and see what time it is and find out whether I have to do it myself or I can just wait until my daughter gets home from school so she can hold the tape measure. But here we are. 
and we'll get some more done in a little bit. We're going to start putting in floor joists. Well, as you can see, I forgot to turn on the time lapse. I got the camera all set up, forgot to turn it on. Anyway, we're working on trying to figure out exactly what we need to make the height over here. And I'll talk more about that later. I got the header for here over to where the stairwell starts. I refashioned the hole covers. <clears throat> we got this all squared. Look nice and perfectly square. Less than an eighth of an inch off perfect. So I think that'll do. That'll do for me anyway. Got the string strung over there. As you can see, this side is higher than that side by two inches, which was the situation that the concrete guy had. And we decided that right there where the stairs are, right there before where the stairs are, is going to be the level spot. And this side will always be a little higher. And that side down there will always be a little lower. And you'll probably never notice down there because it's just all going to be a separate room anyway. Over here we're going to have two doorways. We're going to have one on this side of that window and we're going to have one on that side of that window. That window is going to be gone. It's going to be a wall. So the one over here, we might still be safe because we're going to have carpet in the bedroom, which is what this room is, and tile in the bathroom, which is what we're building on the other side of that wall and remodeling the bathroom. And I need to put an update for that on here sometime soon. So that's where we're at today. And tomorrow, we'll start from here and try to get some uh, floorboards up. Here's our on-site foreman, keeping an eye from the window. Okay, you see where we got today, down to where the stairwell comes out. And you might be thinking, yeah, but there should be one more truss across there. And you're right, we cut it, made sure it fit, and put it back under the tarp. Why? Because that needs to be a double truss. And everything, everything going this way for the, for the, to box in the stairwell, needs to be screwed into the second truss. And then we put that other truss on. So I'd have to go buy five inch screws. And I don't have any five inch screws, but you can see where we got on the, on the truss. And my other daughter mowed the entire yard front and back. And she did this. Got the first three courses of block in there, filled in behind it with some rock. So I can come over here with a, a load or two of dirt and dump it on here and fill in behind it with some dirt and then she can do a couple more courses. I think two more will be enough. One thing we're going to have to do though is bring it on out. But for right now that's all the block we got so that's what we're doing is just that area right there so I can get it filled in with dirt. I still need to bring some more dirt up here and fill over that rock, but I can't until I have something for it to fall on. 
So that's where we stand with that. Yeah, you can see this here. Once you get in here, I can pretty much walk around in here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Like I said, this is where the stairs are going to box in. I've got one stud here. And then there's another stud going to face on here and have a double stud coming out to hold up the edge of the stairwell and the box where the stairwell goes. And that box should come back. Originally I was thinking right there where that mark is, which isn't really that far over. I am not sure of that. That was a preliminary mark, but roughly, roughly in the area of that right there. Roughly. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Tune back in to see more later. We still have a lot left to go. We're finally making some noticeable headway.